Hello, I'm Simon Watson, Field Applications Engineer for Vectorcast. The topic for our mini video is tuning the unit test execute command for faster test case execution on target using fewer flash cycles. Our starting configuration has the test case input compiled and linked into the const data section of the test harness, which is simple and robust, but each new test case execution will require a reflashing of the target. In addition, in this example, we start and stop the debugger each time. The result is a time to execute of approximately 10 seconds, as we see recorded in the jobs window at the lower left. And it will be much the same for each subsequent test case. In this configuration, Vectorcast is the owner of the debugger process. So the standard out comes to the Vectorcast jobs monitor window. Our modified target configuration has the test case input as a data file that will be uploaded into the running test harness by a scripted breakpoint handler. Most test cases need not require a relink because a Vectorcast test case is inherently data-driven. For example, the function under test is identified by an index to a switch case in the test harness, and it is not a function call hard-coded and compiled into the test case itself. For adding any necessary environment or test case user code, it will often be an advantage to develop the test cases initially using a simulator or host compiler. Someone needs to know if the current test harness is already flashed into the target so that we do it only when necessary. A debugger might have a verify before flash capability, but in this example, we instead control the debugger by a debug server and retain the knowledge of the currently flashed test harness in that debug server. Here, we start the debug server when we run the first test case. We send the test case input data file and the test harness to the debug server, and it decides whether to flash or only to reset the target. It will, of course, still take much the same time to execute the first test case as with the initial configuration, but it will be much faster for subsequent test cases. In this second configuration, the debug server is the owner of the debugger process, and the same standard out comes to its command shell, as we see over here on the right-hand side of the screen. In conclusion, we have taken advantage of the Vectorcast data-driven test harness to reduce target flashing requirements and greatly speed up test case execution. Thank you for your attention.